So I just recently watched the video of Spawn Wave and Obi Wan plays about the PlayStation cartridge for something either the PlayStation 5, uh, VR, or maybe a new handheld. And speculation that this could be this could be like external memory card for game saves. I'm wondering that maybe this this card may actually be something uh, more designed for digital than we ever thought, and it could be a possibility that yeah, this could be for a new handheld besides something that Sony is working on besides the uh, PlayStation Five. It could be a PlayStation Five memory card. It could be some type of memory card that works in the controller as if um, you put some kind of save information instead of signing into your account um, on a friend's PlayStation and getting data online from your account. You kind of will just take it with you. And uh, I, I could see that. Uh, but most people just probably would log in back. Sony would want you to just have a PlayStation Plus to save all your data and back it up. That way you'd have to transfer. I, I see that happening. Uh, it could be for an all-in-one VR. That's a good possibility. But I was thinking something more deeper. Something that I have actually thought of in the past. Instead of like me going digital and I feel like well once I buy something it's stuck on my system and I can't trade my game I can't take it to GameStop and trade it and I can't trade it with a friend because it's on my account I'd have to sell my whole account to uh, trade anything so I'm thinking what if this card is something that you put it in your PlayStation 5 you take a game you have digital and then you bind it to that card you can't play that game on your system unless that card is in your system and if you was to take it out of your system that's on that card and I hand it to a friend and he puts it in his car his he puts it in his PlayStation 5 and he uses his account he'll still be able to play that game and if he wants to pull it off of that card and put it on his system now it's tied to his account and then the cards like vacant again now that's something I thought about you know a company could do way before I ever seen this this card you know and that's what I'm thinking you know this may be a way to keep to make digital physical and vice versa and you may be able to put more than one game on this card but um another thing I'm thinking that this could be and this could be a real letdown uh, if the PlayStation 5 is backward compatible with PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games this just may be a PlayStation 2 memory card <laughs> and it, that'd be so crazy if it is that would be so crazy people like Oh man, that's all that was a PlayStation 2 memory card, but maybe, maybe it, is, maybe it is, maybe it's not. I just keep an open mind about it. But I really do feel like that could be the deal that we have a bond, a bonded PlayStation uh, cartridge that we can turn any digital game into a cartridge. Now, why don't we just do that with SD cards? Well, if we copy the SD card, we pirates piracy the the game and make multiple copies of it so this would kind of prevent us from uh, pirating I'm pretty sure people would figure out a way around it but it would probably have a serial number tied to it so if you did make multiple copies it a red flag would show up anytime you go online with the same copy of it so uh, but you know that would be so cool it would be like oh yeah I got a digital book I can still trade it I can still do this and it may help GameStop out, you know. You know, if it's like GameStop, be like, yeah, we can buy the cartridge. We can test and make sure it's an actual authentic cartridge and it's an actual authentic game, you know. I mean, authentic 
copy, digital copy that would work and we could own it and uh, resell it. I think that would be a great idea. But uh, let me know what you think. Leave some comments.